for me, home doesn't feel like home without him. It's been almost a year since Juanita Agnew went door to door handing out flyers following her son's death. Last November, 13 year old Jay Zagnew was shot and killed while raking leaves in his front yard. And almost 12 months after his death, his grieving mother is still looking for answers. Being at home is not the same. Being in the front yard is, is not the same. The fatal shots fired near the corner of Jameson Street and 22nd Avenue in Hillcrest Heights. And with no surveillance cameras in the area, police have had a hard time tracking down the person who pulled the trigger. This camera would have been able to pick up the intersection. Agnew says it was weeks before she was able to return to their home. But now that she has this camera, it gives me a sense of security because it's real time. Thanks to a new initiative in honor of Jay's Agnew, more cameras are coming to the area. Which will bring security cameras to residents in our community for free. Council member Ed Burroughs is partnering with the nonprofit Jones House to provide nearly 1,000 free home surveillance cameras to District 8 residents. Officials say they will play an important role to help police solve crimes faster. So that's what this is about. How do we communities are as safe as possible? In order to qualify for a free camera, you must be a Prince George's County District 8 resident. Live in a single family home without security cameras already, have Wi Fi, and have a smartphone that can access Google Play or the Apple App Store. There is a similar program for District 7, and last March, Council approved the Jay's Agnew Law, a countywide camera initiative program. It's an honor. Having a surveillance camera will not bring Jay's back. Um, we, we know that. Um, but what it can do it is the difference between knowing who did it and who didn't. With the one-year mark just weeks away, there's a $25,000 reward for info that leads to an arrest and conviction. Agnew says she isn't giving up hope, and her message is still the same. Think about if this was your child. Jace was shot in the afternoon, and someone knows some things. And again, if you know anything that can help with this case, call Prince George's County Police. And next month, Juanita Agnew will be holding a gun violence awareness walk. November 11th, they will retrace Jay's steps from his school here to his home. In Hillcrest Heights, Walter Morris, News 4.